Okay, today we're going to open up and do a test on this MP7317 SuperTech oil filter. A couple of weeks ago, I put up a video of me opening up an Amsoil oil filter, number EA15K13, and I did a flashlight test to see if you could see the light between the end cap and the leaf spring. And you could. That means unfiltered oil could go through the filter. I'll put up a link to that video at the end of this video. So today we're going to do the same thing with this SuperTech oil filter. But before we do that, before I open it up, let's take a quick look at this box. It's rated for 20,000 miles, made in USA. Look here, 99% efficiency, and that's for particles greater than 30 microns. Okay, so let's take a look at this filter. Date code, 041323AB, product of USA. This is a sticker. And this filter has 13 inlet holes, silicone ink drain back valve, nylon center core, bypass valve down below, and about four grooves there for threads. Nitro rubber gasket. Okay, so let's open this filter up and let's see if this one passes that test. The flashlight test. Okay, I just speeded that up a little bit so you guys wouldn't have to sit through that, but it takes a little while to open them up. Okay, so let's just go right to the start of this. I'm going to shut the light off. Okay, let's see. This is just the camera light on, so let's see if you can see anything. Oh, let me try shutting this light off. Okay. Yeah, I can see. I can see light coming through there. Quite a bit of it, actually. A lot of it. And I'm pushing on it. I'm pu trying to push on it hard. And it's still coming through right there. Yeah, you can see the light coming through that side. There's nah, some there too. they will push on it like this. Yeah, it's still coming through there. See that? Look at that. Yeah. You'd have to really push on it so it still looks like it would come through. So these don't these don't completely seal. Let me put the light back on. Obviously, I didn't know that until uh, one of you guys told me about it, Dave. Um, I always thought they sealed up here, but they let a little little light through. So if a little light comes through there, you know unfiltered oil is going through. See, I don't understand. See that? It's not round. It's got a little ridge. Ridge there, see it? So obviously when it goes in, I never noticed that before. When it goes in, it goes in tight and holds it in place. But then you're gonna have a you're gonna have a gap. Yep. Alright, so uh I bet you all these probably leak. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these filters. You know, I might as well just go through the whole filter routine with this one. So, this media is a, a synthetic, it's a synthetic blend media. Right here's the seam. I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. And let's measure it. Measure the width. 2.63 inches wide and uh, minus one tenth of an inch. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this open, stretch it out, and then we can take a look at it. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. 
And this Super Tech is 37 and a half inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on this filter media. 0.91 millimeters thick. Yeah, this is the filtering side, back side. And if you look under the microscope, uh, the picture, um, this filter actually looks pretty good. It doesn't have no light spots. It looks pretty uniform. Let's take a look at that picture. Yeah, so as you can see, there's no, like, pinholes or anything. So, you know, it's not rated at 99% at 30 microns. It's, it looks like it would definitely do the job. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So we got the gasket. That looks fine. Gasket's fine. Silicone and drain back valve. That's nice. It covers up the holes nicely. And we got a lot of, a lot of inlet holes. A lot of grooves for the threads. So a nice base plate center core definitely got a good flow here cans about average thickness so that's all good the only problem is these guys so what have we learned about these filters well these here they don't uh these and uh, the other kind they're almost the same thing but a little differently shaped you can see light coming through here and i don't think they would uh they would let some they would let some unfiltered oil go through. I never knew that about these bypass valves. Did any of you guys know about this? And what are your thoughts on this bypass valve? I think this is a poor, poor design. And the, the manufacturers definitely should know, would know about this. Because, I mean, they make them. They must do a lot of tests. Um, yeah, it's not a, not a very well designed. So post your comments down below what you think about these valves. And again, I want to thank Dave for bringing this to my attention. And I'll have the link somewhere up here or here for the Amsoil filter that I opened up also. So with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. This Supertech filter media weighs 11.6 grams.